All right, we are back at the gymnasium at Defiance High School, the brand new Defiance High School. And with us is Superintendent Mike Struble. Mike, thanks for joining us. Hey, we got a little bit of a tour of the school and we've heard a lot about it. We watched your, your drone cams or whatever those things are. And we are excited to be here and I know you guys are really excited. What a great project. You wanna just kind of lead in and tell us about how it went and mid-year moves are never easy, but you're sure, in it. Sure, sure. Uh, the bond issue, it seemed like it passed uh, 10 years ago, but it was uh, May of 14, the community blessed us by passing that bond issue, and we, and we were determined that we were going to make this uh, great educational facility for our kids. And, and boy, our, our whole construction team really came through. The technology in this place is unbelievable. I mean, uh, we've got smart boards, and I mean they're really smart. I, I, I hope we're smart enough, uh, you know, but it, it allows teachers to... Uh, uh, you know, use their computer and communicate with the students. And, and uh, of course, we can vid live video stream and, and things like that. And uh, uh, all of our science rooms have uh, monitors so that the, they can do simulated dissections and things like that. So uh, I graduated from high school in 1969, so all of this is, uh, you know, science fiction to me. But uh, yeah. I think it's fantastic. Uh, for our kids. Well, Mike, everybody else was enjoying a Christmas break, but you and your staff, you're working the last two weeks trying to get ready for school this past Wednesday. Yes, our maintenance and uh, custodial staff and our teachers, uh, uh, they were excited about coming into the facility, so they worked uh, double time. They they were here every day over uh, Christmas break, and I, and I give them a lot of credit for that, and it, it was cold. It wasn't an easy, <laughs> wasn't an easy move, but, uh, uh, you know, everybody came through, and, and we met the schedule, and uh, uh, I just couldn't be more pleased with our staff. Well, every time we come to Defiance, the staff is very friendly. The students have great enthusiasm, but moving into a new building has to take all of that to a different level, doesn't it? They were excited. Uh, some of the kids said it was like uh, taking a field trip because everything was new yeah. to them. They, you know, they really didn't have much of a chance. They got to see the building one day before we actually oh. got into it, so they were extremely excited. and. Uh, uh, you, you know, that, that's the most fulfilling thing for me as a school administrator to open a building because the excitement of the kids and uh, how this motivates them, it, uh, it just makes everything worthwhile. Well, Mike, when we came in, they took us to the wrestling room, which is not quite done yet. So where are you in your project? Are, are, how close are you to being done? We're, we're probably 90% done. They just finished the track today. They still have to stripe the track up here. Uh, this is an eighth, eighth of a mile track. And then the wrestling room, uh, they're going to install on January 8th, on Monday. Uh, so the wrestling room will be, be done within a couple of days. Uh, we've got little things, like we've got a couple of countertops that didn't show up. Every, every new school has a punch list, which is things that uh, have been omitted or, or not completed or, or something like that. And we'll be working through that, you know, maybe for a couple of months. But the academic area and the, and the commons area, the cafeteria, everything functions just great so far. So uh, uh, we're about 90% done, and I'm just happy that we got in on time. Yeah, you bet. Well, we're in the gymnasium. We're here for basketball. It right. is a beautiful facility. Thank you. Talk a little bit about what, how you, why you built it the way you did. Sure. We, we've been told that certain things were seen at other gymnasiums sure. you liked and you sure. took the best. Go ahead and talk about the gym. Well, I don't like cookie cutter box gyms. So uh, we, we, we took some of a, a little bit of everything that we saw from other gyms that we like. The Sullivan Center at Toledo Central Catholic. Uh, Hamilton City Schools has a gym almost identical to this. Mm -hmm. uh, we looked at Kettering, uh, Fairmont East and West merged and it's now Kettering High School. They have a gymnasium like this. Of course, we always like the Stroh Center, so we incorporated things like this. Now, I'm an old-timer, so those corner scoreboards are in honor of St. John Arena. Yeah. We and, love them. And, we love them. Uh, yeah. You know, we wanted to have a little character in, in the gymnasium, and we thought, you know, the community, Defiance College has uh, the, the smart center, and the community comes in and walks. So not only can the track benefit uh, athletics, but also uh, our senior citizens or, or community members, if they're uh, free during the day, they, uh, we're going to try to make this so that they can come in and walk and get a little bit of exercise. What's capacity so seating in here? Uh, 2,500. Oh, it's uh, the old gym was 1,900, but we love to host tournaments, and mm -hmm. uh, Jerry Beauty, our athletic director, does a terrific job, and uh, the OHSAA has, al has already awarded us the D3 District Wrestling, so uh, we love to have people come to Defiance. We like to host them. Uh, we're proud of our facility, and, and we're proud of our staff, and uh, uh, we want to put on a good show for the fans. Well, Mike, you and the people of Defiance should be very proud of your, what you've done here in the community. It's a great asset to, to your kids and your community. We appreciate you being on with us at halftime, and congratulations on what you did here. Thank you, gentlemen. We're happy that you're here.